Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about how to maintain a social life while in college, while struggling with a mental health and or substance use disorder. So one of the main reasons that people who are in recovery from mental health and or substance use struggle to maintain a social life is because the people that they used to hang around aren't positive for their substance use recovery or and or mental health. So one way to combat that is to look at your university's events page and see if there's anything of interest to you. This would get you at an event that you're super interested in, or, as well as have people around you that are also interested in that topic, and then the conversation would flow, flow from there. This would allow you to meet new people and potentially people that would be positive for your life. Another way of maintaining a social life is to assess the people that were in your life before getting into recovery and see what effect they had on your life. Because there's not, not everyone in your life had a negative impact or maybe they did. So finding the friends that you can hang around that are positive for your recovery could be beneficial. It could also be coupled with the first one if you go to events with people that have similar interests as you. You could ask them if they would like to hang out with you outside of going to events and form a friendship from there. Another resource that universities could have is to see if they have a collegiate recovery program. This is typically geared towards people who have substance use disorders, but people with mental health disorders are also welcome here. And typically the setup is just an environment with people that are all in recovery to support each other and to do activities together, or it's a study space that you don't have to feel like you're being judged or in any way. So that is another way to form a friendship and just have a community of people that have similar goals and interests and are positive. One that may not work for everyone but potentially could still help you maintain a social life is going to parties and bars, just not drinking. Easier said than done, but you could tell your friends like, hey, I'll be the DD for the night. I still want to hang around you guys, I just won't drink. You could still go to the bar and dance, do karaoke, just not drinking. It's easier said than done, but once you get on the dance floor and dancing, you might just get carried away and say, wow, I'm having a lot of fun and I don't even need a drink. This is really, really cool. It allow you to be in the environment around your friends still spending time and building relationships. You just wouldn't, wouldn't have to drink and have the negative effects that you used to have. The last thing that you could do is join organizations or clubs within the university, such as sports clubs, sports teams. You could get a gym membership and join fitness groups and meet people that way. You can join online forums to discuss issues with people that have similar mental health and substance use diagnosis. A good website is katiemorton.com. She has a quite a bit of a community as well as in a live chat room going on all of the time. You can join clubs and video games. You can start playing video games and meet people and get social on there and discuss objectives in that game. So there's many options within organizations and stuff. It's just a matter of finding them. However, this topic is so broad and there's so many different options, so I hope maybe one of these five could be beneficial to you, and if you'd like me to make a video with more more options, I'm, I'm open to that. It's just hard when I don't have the person that's watching this video in front of me. Like the video if you found it helpful, subscribe for more videos, comment down below any topics you'd like for me to cover in the future. That's all for me. Till next time, bye!